Now showing on BBC Real. The word geothermal comes from ancient Greek, geo meaning earth and therme heat. Around 11,000 years ago, humans found a way to harness a small portion of the Earth's heat energy that was close to the surface. So what is being done today to capture that thermal energy? The closer the thermal energy from the core is to the surface, the more easily you can actually get to it. So for instance, if you use a location where you're getting tectonic plates moving against each other, all of a sudden all the deep energy is actually quite close to the surface. And some remarkable countries like Iceland buy geotectonic type of energy flows. Watch more stories like this at bbc.com slash real. This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Emery Waller. On today's Global, Rishi Sunak's first Prime Minister's Questions. The new UK leader faces blunt questions about his cabinet, his plans, his legitimacy to govern after months of political turmoil. The only time he ran in a competitive election, he got trounced by the former Prime Minister, who herself got beaten by a lettuce. <laughs> Our mandate is based on the manifesto that we were elected on to remind him an election that we won and they lost. We'll have the latest from Westminster on that, our main story. Also on today's programme, warnings of a potential bloody battle for the occupied Ukrainian city of Kherson, where Russia is strengthening its military force and telling civilians to leave. Reports Iran's security forces opened fire on protesters in the home city of Masa Amini, 40 days since she died in custody. And ahead of the crucial COP27 climate conference in Egypt, the BBC's global audience have put their questions to the UN Secretary General. Climate change is the crisis of our lifetime, is the defining issue of today's world. Hello and welcome to BBC News. Rishi Sunak has faced his first Prime Minister's questions in the House of Commons. He clashed with the Labour leader who criticised the new Prime Minister for reappointing Suella Braverman as Home Secretary days after she was forced out of the job because of a security breach. Meanwhile, the UK Chancellor announced he will delay the economic statement, which will set out how he aims to get the government's finances in order. That plan was due on Monday. Instead, it will now be delivered next month. Here's our political correspondent, Damien Grammaticus. First thing on Rishi Sunak's first full day, his new cabinet assembled. It's not really that new, though. The top jobs, like the Chancellor Jeremy Hunt, have mostly stayed the same. Many are stalwarts from Boris Johnson and Liz Truss's time. For some, this is a team who are ready from day one. For detractors, it's a retread. Old faces, so where will the new...